everyone and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars Buildable Figure Review. Today's review, K2SO. Alright, so K2SO. Now this guy is, of course, a new character, just like Jin was for Rogue One, and we don't know much about him. Um, he's very interesting because I absolutely love his design from the trailers and everything. I think he looks so cool. And I think they translated the overall feel of the figure into construction form really well, and this is probably the best figure of the wave. It shows because I think he's the one that people are buying the most. Most people only buy one, and they only buy this one. Um... And uh, I can see why. He's really well done. And most of it comes from his overall center torso here. It's really well built. Um, the limbs are pretty good. The legs are good. But these arms are a little too thin. They don't actually look like this in the movie. But I do appreciate them trying. I also appreciate the lightsaber recolors right here. So, yeah. Um, now, uh, he just, again, he really reflects the real thing very well. And it's... It's pretty nice, especially when he's just standing there. His his shoulders are set back just enough so it just feels like that same droid from the trailers and stuff, you know? And I'm really excited to see him in the movie. Um, I'm not sure if his attitude or his personality really reflects his design, but I still really like the design. So, yeah. Um, one thing I want to talk about is his head is really great. Um, you can't really see it because of the way my lights are set up here, but I should have a shot right about now that really shows it off. And it looks really good. It's got all these nice scars and stuff on it, and it's just a really great design. It looks doesn't even feel like a buildable figure part. It just feels like a really deluxe, awesome piece. Um, on top of that, uh, he does have printing on his shoulders, and he does have stickers. So, yeah. But on to the function. I've been delaying enough. Now, this function is literally exactly the same as Skull Bashers, um, except it's a little, there's a little bit more weight to it because of the arms are longer, and it's a little bit differently set up. Um, the way it's designed, you can actually see right here, is um, there, are two, there are two central um, points right here. There's the, two central joints. This one and this one, and each of them holds the arm, they each kind of slouch. Um, basically, when you push this, it uh, pushes it forward, and then you push them together, and it pushes them together. It's the same exact one as Skull Basher, it's just the arms are positioned up higher. Um, so from the front, that goes like this. And it works out most of the time, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I haven't seen it in the movie, so I don't know um, how well this will apply. But, you know, you can, like, clap and stuff, so... Uh, the Skull Basher had a great function, so it translates really well. As far as pieces go, this guy's pretty good. Most of the parts he has are just little tiny parts recolored. But the biggest one is, of course, the... Oops. The, um... Is this is the Bionicle uh, add-on piece here. That looks great in black, and it stinks that he only has one. He has a few other Technic parts recolored. He's got the new, um, long thing right here, which I think suits him very well and really fits with the figure. Um... But overall, I don't have much to say about K2. I wish I could say more. It's just, there isn't much to him, and I think you should get him. I absolutely think, oh yeah, he's very tall. I'll do a comparison here with, I don't know, General Grievous. So here he is, height-wise, with General Grievous. Now, General Grievous is a little slouched over, so if you really stretched out General Grievous enough, um, he is still taller. But, um, as you can see, K2 is really tall as well. Um, so, yeah. K2 is very tall, and I think that's really neat. But I think it might be a little out of scale. Um, just like how General Grievous was very out of scale. Maybe he might, even out of scale for the animated series. These Star Wars figures are not very good when it comes to their scale. So, yeah. So, yeah, I absolutely think I should get them. Worth the $25 for sure. A true Titan. A well-done set with a decent function. Um, just not much to say about them. So... Thank you for watching, and goodbye.